Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today we're going to be talking about how the Biden administration has appointed Kamala Harris to be the lead voice for gun control heading into the 2024 election. I've got kind of a unique perspective since I lived in California when she was attorney general. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> this channel is proud to be sponsored by SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute. Have you ever wanted to learn more about gunsmithing, firearms repair, or shooting sports management? Enroll in one of SDI's online programs or courses to take your hobby to the next level. Payment plans and funding options are available, so visit the link below or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So on the one side, we have people like Nikki Haley, who says she wants to get rid of red flag laws and sensitive places. And everybody else says that they stand for freedom and liberty and preserving our rights. At least that's what they say on the campaign trail. Then you have the other side that basically just wants to ban, ban, ban everything. You know, they want to add restrictions and limitations. They want to be able to take things away from you without due process. I mean, we know where they stand already. This is nothing new, but uh, that's kind of what they're pushing right now to the forefront. And some people might be surprised and might even find it laughable that she's the one that's been put in the position to try and push that talking point. Now, while I get that because she hasn't been that great on other issues, this is not something to take lightly because this particular topic is right down her wheelhouse. I mean, take a look at everything that happened while she was uh, in San Francisco and then became the attorney general of the state of California. I lived there while she was the attorney general. I saw all the lawsuits and everything that happened. Some of the worst gun control that was ever passed in the state of California that people are still living with right now happened under her watch and through her defense of these lawsuits. So this is something that she's been dealing with again since San Francisco, California, the Senate, and now the current office that she holds. So this right here is a topic that she has already done a lot on and caused a lot of problems with. So again, it's not really that far fetched that they would name her as the leading voice on this topic. So do I think having her as the voice is going to change absolutely anything? No, we already know what their platform is. It's no big secret. Everybody already knows that. So you can say whatever you want. That's what you've been running on, you know, for the past 40, 50 years. We, we already know this. Okay. So this is not a big surprise. And what's interesting is we've already seen the White House come out and say that they don't think they can do anything more. Uh, through executive order. They've already done everything that they can, and they've said at this point, and this point moving forward, they're going to need Congress to act. We've seen what they've done with agencies and bureaucracies and kind of using workarounds to get around Congress. But as far as Congress goes, right now at least we have one check. So the checks and balances are there, right? We have one side that's controlled by one side. We have the other house or other chamber that's controlled by the other side. And so that the checks and balances work out, and nothing negative really makes it up to the president's desk except for last year, that whole bipartisan fiasco that was signed into law and is already creating all sorts of problems. But after seeing the negativity that came from that, I don't think they're gonna be willing to do that again. So as long as the checks and balances exist and it's not just simply one party, then I think everything's gonna be fine and nothing that you know they're proposing is gonna go through. But again, you have to remember if, if we lose that, then it's just, it's game on. It's everything that they want is very, very possible. And so again, do I think it's going to change anything in the outcome? No, but it's something that I think people should take a little bit more seriously than they have with, I'd say, other topics that she's been put in charge with. I think that's kind of an important thing to note is that this, again, is something that she has a lot of experience with. She already, uh, already got one state basically turned upside down. Now it's, they're trying to get the rest of the country. So anyway, I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. It's really interesting, but at the same time disturbing. So again, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.